If you are looking for ideas on what to write into your content marketing for July, you've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Jennifer Gardella. I am a social media and blogging consultant for small business owners. So every month we are always looking forward to what's going on next month. So right now we are in the process of planning client content for the month of July. And I wanted to come to you with a list and some ideas about what we will be sharing out there. Now, let me be clear. This is, list is not complete. There are literally hundreds of awareness months and important dates that you could talk about in your marketing. The most important point though that I wanna make is that whatever you decide to do, it needs to be authentically you. So don't just try to relate something to your business. If you wanna do something catchy or timely, you can always do summer. In fact, if you know that your content takes a while to rank in Google, you could actually be doing back to school at this point because well, by the time July rolls around, you'll only be in some cases a month away. So it could take Google a while to find it. But let's go over some general ideas. So there's a couple of ways that I approach this. The first are what are the monthly themes? This is easy to do. Uh, because the theme lasts for a full month. In a little bit, we're gonna get into the days that are significant. There are actually weeks that are also significant. You can look those up as well, but I don't like to do a ton of those because they look silly on your social media. So if you post something midday on Tuesday in honor of a specific month holiday, it kind of stays in that cycle for 24 hours, but by that point, the day is over. So that's a problem. Anyway. Let's move on. So July, UV Awareness Safety Month. This is important to any healthcare provider out there, even um, psychologists, anyone in the healthcare field at all. There's all it is also um, known as National Sunscreen Month. So that's fun to capitalize on that as well. It is national in July, it is national, I'm reading these right off of my list here that I compiled for you, National uh, Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. As we all know, mental health is one of the biggest and hottest topics out there. June is Mental Health Month. And so July is National Minority Mental Health Month. So if you wanna raise awareness for disparities, parity, uh, accessibility, health insurance, a great idea is uh, during the month of July. It's also National Anti-Boredom Month. So this is a really good one if you have a product or service that entertains people, engages them, educates them on something, get them on board. Usually boredom leads to stuckness, which can lead to depression, lots of anxiety. So if you have a solution for that, go for it and share it. It's National Picnic Month. Now I shared this one because you could do something clever about what's in your picnic basket. I know it can either be real food or a picnic basket of tools to help you through life, whether it's in your business, with your divorce, if you're a divorce attorney, right? Whether it's um, anything that your ideal client needs, what do they put in that picnic basket? It's also National Ice Cream Month and I'm a huge fan of ice cream. So that would be a really fun post for me to do. Uh, and then National Watercolor Month. So again, this stresses creativity. What colors? What are you painting? What's your picture look like? Those are really good ones. And then I wanted to get into some of the days. So again, these take a lot of responsibility on your part as the small business owner. We post these at 12 o'clock midnight as the day changes. So it's only in your social media for that one day and then goes away. So July 1st is National International Joke Day. That's hilarious, right? July 4th is of course, of course Independence Day. Be careful. If you are in a volatile or a hot uh, profession, people don't wanna hear, some people don't wanna hear about July 4th anymore. Uh, July 7th is National, uh, I'm sorry, it's World Chocolate Day. We also on July 13th have National French Fry Day. There's a lot of food days I'm noticing in the month of July. July 17th is World Emoji Day. Now, I am not a huge emoji fan. Uh, I don't believe that they should take the place of written words when you can be expressing something. They can be kind of fun though. So find a good emoji that again, represents your business and go for it. 
Uh, and then July 30th is the International Day of Friendship. Extend a hand, extend a tip on that day to those who are suffering, who need your services, who need your expertise. Give away a little tidbit for free. Talk about how you help. So that's what I got for July. I look forward to sharing or seeing your content and sharing any good stuff that I see out there. Dr. Jennifer Gardella, until next time, thanks so much. Bye-bye.